plaintiff, Constance Christopher Deadweiler, says the defendant is her brother, and his wife has always tried to drive a wedge between them. Constance claims the defendant often calls drunk, threatening to have his wife fight her, and she's suing for the balance on a bail bond. Defendant Larry Lewis says Constance has no respect for him or his wife, and she's been spreading rumors that his kids don't belong to him. Therefore, Larry petitioned the court for a paternity test to prove Constance wrong. And ma'am, you're suing your brother for a bail bond for $4,000? Yes. And you've petitioned the court for a DNA test. So he's doing a DNA test for his wife. That doesn't have anything to do with me. Well, it must not be too much of a question. Your wife is with you today, supporting you. So what do we need a DNA test? Your wife, so she's, there's still a question? Well, Your, Your Honor, we need the DNA because of her accusations. She's the person that puts this aura out in the air. She's the one that goes to social media and put these things out there in the air. That's a lie. She's the one I don't, that, I'm not on social media my, at all. You don't have anything to do with it. You have everything, to, has do everything with to do with it. She does. She's the one that put this aura out there. She doesn't even respect my kids, Your Honor. She doesn't, she doesn't I don't acknowledge have a my kids. With kid. She don't even have a relationship with me. No, I'm not, because he owes me money. So when I get my money, we could talk about a relationship. You all had a good relationship otherwise? No, because his wife has always tried to so drive away. So it's not wedge. just about the money then? No, it's all about right. respect and a whole bunch of other stuff too. Mm -hmm. Like what? Like he disrespects me, he gets drunk, he called me, calling me all type of B words and telling me he's gonna have his wife fight me and all type of stuff. Why do you think that is? Cause he was getting drunk and high and he was out of his mind. Cause when I asked him about it later on, he's like, I don't even Sound remember. Sound like you're referring to one incident. Tell me about your relationship in general with your brother over the years. So we haven't had a good relationship. And since when? Since he was in and out of jail for the last 20 years. And how old were you? I was about 10 or 11 when how he was How did that hurt your relationship, not seeing him? I seen him, but it hurt us because we never had the close setting that me and my other brother mm -hmm. had. Because me and my other brother, we're, we're six years apart. We're very, very close. Okay. But because he wasn't in a household and he was always in and out of jail, it wasn't a good relationship. And it made you mad? Yeah, because he Why? disrespect my parents all the time and he hurt my mom all the time. Okay. And so you all never had a good relationship. It's not just about this money and it's not no. just about his wife. No, so. no it's, 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 it's that, but it's more me and him. We just don't click. We don't have a good relationship. Right. And I don't have nothing to do with him, his family, his situation, or anything. Why don't you have anything to do with Because I don't want a relationship. You don't want to have a relationship with your niece and nephews because you couldn't have a relationship with him because he's in prison. Go ahead, sir. Honor, Let me hear from you. She doesn't even acknowledge my kids, Your Honor. She, she's, she's told many a times that my kids don't even belong to me. Where my kids look directly, that's my mother. If you look I, at my mom I, right I, now, mom, I look directly like ever, my mom. She I've doesn't even acknowledge my kids. My kids go around my mom's house. She doesn't even speak to my kids. Who doesn't? She she doesn't. Oh, right. Can I bring my this mom up, speak to my kids. About what? Because she can testify to that. I've never to what? To, I've never said his kids were not his to him. I've never. Okay. I Are you I'm serious? Not on social. Serious. Get out of here, mom. Man. Your Honor. She has when told he, many a people many of times it's been on the Facebook page that, that these are not. Yeah, she's told my mother. That I don't have Ma'am, did you want to have any input on it or what, not? You don't yes, have to. what I want to say is yeah, on, he up. owes her the money. Pay the money. Let All this right. be over with. <laughs> you don't, you don't, have any, you don't want to say anything this about this. This is unbelievable. Mm -hmm. This is a son and a daughter. Mm -hmm. These are both my children. Yeah. Where and is this I'm alleged that I owe the money at? The Where is this alleged that I owe the money? Where, right. where is this was said that I owe the money? I'm not, not, we're not dealing with that yet. That I'm dealing with me. this dysfunction. Oh, okay. Sorry, I'm sorry, Your Honor. Well, it's been dysfunctional dysfunction. for a long time, Your Honor. And it he is went to, prison. to her daughter. We mm -hmm. supported her him. Daughter. She mm -hmm. went to visit. Mm -hmm. We've been supportive. The wife has drawn a, tried to draw a wedge between us yeah. for years. Wow. Oh, for okay. years. That's part of This it? has been going on for years. I've been more forgiven than her. Mm -hmm. She's not as forgiven as me, but I've moved on. I've learned because I'm older and I know how to move on. She doesn't. Mm -hmm. She's holding on to a lot that she needs to let go of. Yeah, because if you disrupt the household and cause pain to your mother and all the well, other they both things. Do. That part. I was going to say, Your do. Honor, how uh, can she throw the allegation do. on me? Oh. She cusses my mom out. She's put her hands on my mom. Are you kidding me? Yeah, hands. I'm telling you that. I don't put yeah, my hands on Yeah, she's I've never mama. known. I may have had They both that. are very disrespectful. <laughs> I'm going to sit down on that note. Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> Thank you. 
So you claim he caused the dysfunction by going to prison. You're causing the dysfunction now. by being there every day. So I don't, you know. I don't be in anywhere. Hmm. And so I have my own place. So tell me about how he owes you for the bond. Um, he owes me because so he says that we're never there for him. So I tried to be there for him. When what happened? So this was in like the end of 2014, beginning of 2015, like, cause the case went on mm -hmm. in the 2015. So he went into a store. He was very drunk and belligerent. My mom had sent him money to uh, MoneyGram and he went into the store to pick up the money and he's racist. So he hit this Mexican guy in the face for no reason whatsoever. Then he tried to fight the store owner. And so they called the police. He went to jail. He Why had he tried to fight the store owner. Because the store owner tried to break up the situation. Mm -hmm. The store, me and my mom went to the store. The store owner said, please tell your brother to never come back here ever again so he went to jail he had a job at walmart i was really trying to he had just got out of prison i was really trying to help him stay out of jail so i bailed him out so he could keep his job he ended up losing his job anyways because he wouldn't stop drinking i bailed him out we went to the bail bonds all of us and he was like i'm gonna pay you he texts me i'm gonna pay you all that good stuff and then once the case was dissolved, he thought the bail was dissolved. And so they tried to sue me that I, and I didn't want it on my credit. So I went ahead and just paid it off because what happened was I put the twenty five hundred down for the bill and then you have to pay two hundred dollars a month. He was just supposed to pay the two hundred dollars a month. He didn't even do that. So I paid it off because they tried to go after me. You do all this crazy talk to each other. And then you are putting up four thousand you of your money rescuing him. You all can't be that estranged see, at the if time, you're putting up four thousand dollars. No, see, at the time we weren't estranged. And I was really trying. You we, say you've been estranged all your life. That's what she said. Tell it to her. We ain't never get along. I ain't never liked That's what she said. Yeah, they, he did my mama exactly wrong. He is in jail. I don't like him. I don't like his kids. I don't like his wife. Go ahead, sir. You give me some uh, some response to this bill. Uh, she's don't come with no telling me how she hated you. Uh, now you're going to tell me she loved you so much this was a gift. Well, I mean, she just admitted herself, Your Honor, that she wanted a relationship with me. She came out and just told you in the court of law that she wanted a relationship with me. And you needed her to buy it? <laughs> uh, I'm not going to say that, Your Honor, but I mean, you know, sometimes... Those, sisters, those two have nothing to do with each other. What I'm saying is sometimes then. family help family, Your Honor, mm -hmm. and, and, and what I'm telling you that there was no agreement to pay her no money. Mm -hmm. she, she went on Has her she own ever and asked said, for any? Huh? Did Has she, she, she ever, ever asked for some money? for any money She's, for the I'm, bail bond? Never specifically. It's just all drama, Your Honor. Okay. That's what I'm trying to say. She has never asked you for money never. for the bail never. bond? Never. All right, ma'am. <laughs> Sir, yes. um, right here is a text message from my brother that it. said, uh, you're going to get your coins. He gave me $1,000 in January. And my what mom, are coins? My mom, Did he gave me... Did you give her $1,000, sir? Coin. I don't huh? know. Did you give her $1,000? Your Honor, I gave her $1,000 on, on, on the... what? Because... Why do you go in and out of jail? You can't even lie right. Well, because listen you to me. the jail again. You, know, you need to her... get a stiff job because you're not a good criminal. <laughs> give me the DNA. <laughs> you tell him. You know that man is the father. <laughs> Here you go, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> Judgment for the plaintiff. Thank you. Uh, have a good day. I am the father. Uh, thank you. As far as me and her, you concerned, I'm done with you. Do I don't I, want no don't, more to do with you. I, Leave me ever, alone. Don't forget do I, I ever existed. bother you? Do Bye. I ever bother you? Bye. <laughs> See y'all. Yeah, don't. Please, Peace. stay away yeah, from me. Right. Bye. Peace, y'all. Love y'all peoples. Y'all have a good one. Peace. Peace. Daughter, family. No good, y'all. Right, no good. Well, I'm going to say I, this is his family. It's not my family. But after today and she's saying I'm driving the wedge between the family, I don't think we have a relationship either. We don't have one at first anyway. So that's what I got to say. I don't want to have anything to do with him. I never had nothing to do with his wife from the beginning. I'm not having she's anything to do with the kids. She's a lie. And I'm done. <laughs> I'm glad it's over.